Hi there and thanks for tuning in. Now something a little bit different this time, I thought I'd go through all of the equipment that I use to make these videos and show you how I organise it and carry it out to wherever I'm going to be taking photographs. Now if you're new to my channel please go and check out some of my other videos and if you like what you see it'd be great if you consider subscribing and if you do don't forget to hit that notification bell to get uh, notified when I upload new videos. So this is the the large format camera that I'm using at the moment. It's a Chamonix C45 F2 4x5 camera. Uh, it comes in this uh, padded pouch, which I always I always keep it in and carry it in carry it in that. It just keeps it protected. And to go with that, I've got two lenses. I always also keep my light meter in this pouch. The light meter is a Sekonic basic uh, reflective and incident light, light meter. It's not a spot meter. It does everything that I need it to do. Then I have two lenses. This one's a 150 millimeter. And then the other lens I, I've got is uh, it's a 90 millimeter wide angle, wide angle lens. Those are the only two lenses I've got at the moment, and I find I get most of the the photography that I'd like to do with those. And I keep them in these timber lens wraps, and I use these quite uh, quite a lot. They're really useful. You can put anything in them: lenses, cameras, different sizes. So they're quite flexible. Um, yeah, I really like those. And the other two things I keep in this pouch are cable release for the for the shutter, and then uh, this, a little magnifying loop to check focus on the uh, ground glass screen. As I say, I keep keep all of this stuff in uh, in these roll top dry bags, and they're, I've got various different ones. They're all different colours, so it really helps to keep things organised, and you you know exactly what's in each one just by the uh, just by the colour. And of course, they're completely waterproof as well, so that's an added bonus. Then we've got film holders. Uh, I normally take four or five different holders. And they're double-sided, so each one has two two sheets of film in it. Keep them in this uh, this little pouch; just uh, stops them getting knocked. And they're also in uh, Ziploc bags as well. And there's a little pencil in in the bag as well, which I use to make a note on the strip at the top of the top of the dark side, which uh, also tells me what film's in it, whether it's exposed. Or whether it's empty and you know there's room there to write down the camera settings that are used for that particular photograph. Now this is a stormproof holster for my um, Fuji X-T3. I always carry that in on my around my shoulder just so I've got um, it accessible. Handy that it's stormproof. It means I don't. If it's raining, I don't have to put the camera in my rucksack. I just keep it in here all the time. So that's uh, that's really handy. And I found this recently. It's uh, made by a company called Migo. It's called the Agua, and it's uh, as I say, it's a stormproof holster for cameras. Really useful. Now in this little pouch here, I keep my DJI. Osmo Pocket, which is what I use to do all of my sort of talking heads and some um, some other sort of wide wider angle sort of landscape type video pieces. I've got a Zoom H1N field recorder, which I use to record ambient sounds, waterfalls, 
just you know local ambient noises it's also useful as a, a backup unit um, I can plug my um, lav mic into this if my other audio recording solution doesn't uh, doesn't work for any any reason uh, what else is in here that's the little pouch for the uh, the lav mic that I use it's a Rode lav mic plus uh, it's got the uh, little dead cat thing in there and some other adapters a set of filters for the Osmo Pocket NDs and ND and circular polarizers combined so they're really useful if you want to keep your shutter speed to the 180 degree rule and then I have a variable ND filter for my Fuji for when I use that for video work again same uh, principle allows you to keep your shutter speed um, to the 180 degree rule so that's that and that has a belt loop and I carry that on my uh, the belt loop of my rucksack so I've got it accessible to me at all times this is a telephoto lens for my Fuji the 55 to 200 again keep it in this one of these timber wraps and then just stick that in the rucksack wherever it'll fit and then we've got my Rode Wireless Go microphone system keep it in there when I'm not using it filters for my large format camera uh, I use a Nissi filter holder circular polarizer and I also have filters by format high tech those are my NDs and ND grads and I've also got a an orange filter there for when I'm shooting in black and white and then two tripods this is a Benro Travel Angel uh, I've had this for several years now and it's absolutely superb for a lighter weight camera I use this for uh, mounting the Fuji onto and I'm using that to to shoot video and then this this one is uh, from three-legged thing and it's the Albert carbon fiber tripod this is um, the one I use for my large format camera it needs to be a bit sturdy for that uh, system and if I'm shooting just purely digital stuff and not doing videos then I'll I'll take this and use the use this for the Fuji as well but that's a that's a really nice um, nice tripod that this is the dark cloth for the large format camera now it's actually made by Paramo using their Nitwax biological analogy waterproof um, fabric uh, which means it's waterproof so if you set the camera up and you're in a, a downpour you can just cover it up with that and it's not gonna it's not gonna get wet it's a bit on the expensive side for a dark cloth but yeah I, li I like really like it. it's better than using a black t-shirt I suppose most of the other stuff that I've got here is stuff that I'd normally take on a any sort of regular day out on the hills so we've got um, waterproof waterproof jacket waterproof trousers I always carry those even if it's not going to be forecast to rain same with the uh, insulated jacket keep that in the keep that in the rucksack because you never know we're going to need stuff like that little first aid kit I always keep that in there hat and gloves and the rest of it is um, is going to be stuff like water food that kind of thing and that um, pretty much uh, covers all of the all the all the stuff that I need to take now what I'm using to carry all this uh, equipment is uh, just a regular hiking specific uh, rucksack this one's a, a 35 litre um, pack uh, everything fits in here with uh, room room to spare and the main thing why I'm using something like this is really for the the carrying system the, the hip belt because the equipment that I carry is quite heavy it really needs to be supported properly 
and you don't want all of that weight just hanging off the shoulder straps. You need the weight being transported onto your hips. So that's why I've gone for a, a pattern like this with a, a decent support system and some nice hip belts. Obviously this makes this, uh, this choice multifunctional because if I want to use it as a regular rucksack, obviously I can because that's what it is. Uh, if I'm just going hiking and I'm not going to be taking large format cameras and all that stuff, use the same rucksack. So it's, uh, it's good to have equipment that you can use for multiple different activities. This one does, does the job really nicely. And I can get all of the equipment in here and it, uh, it carries really well. There's nothing worse than doing a really long hike with all of that weight just hanging off of your shoulders. You soon get really tired and it's, uh, it's, not, really, it's not really much good that. But yeah, so that covers all of the, uh, all of the equipment and how I carry it up into the mountains. Okay, well that pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you found it informative and look forward to seeing you on the next video.